countdown to splash is on. First item to check off, receive new crossbeam and get it ready to install. Right on. All right. Jim, are you a happy mama? Yeah. yeah? Means we're one step closer to the water. Yay! <laughs> All right, cross beam, extrusion, four stay, bracket, roller mount, uh, bottom mount, shipping. We have everything. Or so we thought. After 14 weeks, we were so excited when it finally arrived. But when we unwrapped it a few days later to put on our shiny new cross beam, we realized that it was made incorrectly. After a few phone calls and photos to US Spars, another brand new beam was expedited. And what do you know, 48 hours later, we had another cross beam in front of us. This whole process was pretty frustrating and distracting. So unfortunately, we don't have any footage of the second cross beam being delivered. However, we learned our lesson from the first time and unwrapped the second beam the same day with the delivery driver present. And what do you know? It was wrong again. Apparently, to get it to us so quickly, they didn't even finish assembling it, which wasn't even the only problem with the second beam. To make it right though, US Spars sent their lead floor production guy out to us to piece together a proper cross beam out of the two incorrect ones. Then we could take out the old beam and put the new one on. Now that the new beam was on, we could reinstall the chain track. Capturing this moment was a pretty big deal because Sid is deathly afraid of heights and she volunteered to get out there and help Ty like a champ. If you remember from our power series, we have a ton of solar on our boat. We knew that we didn't want a generator, plus the original generator had been ruined by fresh water. We know this because of the presence of rust, but the lack of corrosion and perfect oil. Having the amount of solar that we do saved us from having to buy a new one and opened up a huge amount of additional storage potential in the front of the boat. We took full advantage of the crane time since we had the rental to put up the mast. So not only did we take out the old generator to be recycled, but we also hoisted up our brand new Miele washer and dryer. Standing the mast was exciting and stressful, but with the help of our boat neighbor, Captain Ron, it went off without a hitch. After we get the sails up and have time to do a test sail, we'll make any final adjustments and then we plan to have a rigging inspection done. The last safety thing that we wanted to take care of before going into the water was reattaching our trampolines. We purchased new line to lash them with. What we had before just wasn't long enough to make them as tight and secure as we would have liked. Plus, the black just looks cool. And finally, the last thing we needed to take care of was rebedding the starboard aft cabin window. When we took off the privacy screen, we noticed that the window was starting to lift from the bedding compound and we didn't want to lose a window after getting into the water. Well, we thought it might have been a problem, but... <laughs> it's not funny. No, it's funny. <laughs> that baby just did not want to come out. Ready? I don't like those sound spots. 
Just our luck, the camera battery died as we pulled the window out, but we finally got it with only one casualty. Uh, I'm leaving! <laughs> it was close. We almost had to cut the whole finger off. Oh. It's plexi glass! Why did you do that? Oh, look at that. It's broken. It's sharp. <laughs> ah! <laughs> A skull and crossbones boobless strip. We call those bitch stickers. Why don't you go use yourself a bitch sticker? Hey! Oh. Well, that was fun. Did I say the window was the last thing? Having the sails is kind of important, don't you think? Your hand said? There you go. Go! Go! <laughs> Good job. It's time. I think we're actually going to do it. <laughs> it's, it's real. We we have to pay the bill. Because <laughs> they won't put us in the water until we pay the bill. The bill. <laughs> I don't know. If you, if you if you buy eight months, should you get two or three free? Yeah, I kind of feel like we should have a discount by yeah. now with as much. So. As we've spent and and as much time as we've been here, like a hey, thanks for being our guest. It's but volume resident discount. I don't think we're so, getting that. But you know what? We'll pay it gladly just so we can get out. So thanks Escape. for sticking around for everything with us, and there's way more fun stuff to come. To say that we were stressed for Dauntless going into the slip is a gross understatement, as we only have two and a half inches on either side of the slip at high tide. But after becoming friends with the amazing crew from Parley Revival and Jeff and Emma from Ocean Nomad and bribing the yard guys with a case of beer if we left without a scratch, we had tons of helpful hands to make sure we left safely. How you feeling? What's running through your head right now? Uh, yeah. Stress? Uh, kind of overwhelming. You've been here for 349 days. Yeah. And uh, you almost get like in the yard, like here. Yeah. And then you gotta remember that we're supposed to be floating. I'm yeah. Sitting on blocks, right? But I mean, I, I remember the feeling. It, it's just an incredible feeling, isn't it? To it know, is. how, to think back at how much work you put into this. Oh, and from the beginning, it came in. She had dock rash on her from the storm. And yeah. She was ugly and stained, and now she's this beautiful floating thing that all the hard work's paid off, and that overwhelming emotion that like it all like wells up in you. And, yeah, everyone's yeah. had a couple of breakdown moments so far, so. Yeah. Congratulations, Kim. 
<laughs> well done. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> well done. Oh, it's got 349 fucking days on the heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the big day. I think that one here, that one up. Yeah. So our daughter's on the phone. She's she moved to Texas. Yeah. And she wanted to be here for the splash, but she couldn't. She was she was a big part of it, wasn't she? Oh yeah. She not only she worked in the yard, but she helped us with projects and the whole thing. So all four of us, well five, including the dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we all did our part. So. Yeah. We sailed, actually we motored, off into the distance on cloud nine after 349 days living aboard while refitting and repairing our beloved home, we did it. We made it back in the water. Then just after dropping the anchor, we got to experience the most rewarding and amazing first sunset on the water. Thank you again to all of our amazing friends for helping us on this monumental day in our sailing adventure. Join us next week for a surprise last minute adventure. Yeah. What a Cuba, oh my God. You guys go in front of me because you're at the end.